When repairing models, it's important to see and identify what the errors are and the proper way to fix them. In this Parasolid file, we'll see a few different openings and problems that we want to remove and take care of. First of all, I noticed that this part was cut in half. Someone removed and created a big opening by slicing this model and not patching it up. With big, obvious problems like this, I can do this without even using our repair tools. Grabbing the edges and filling them in takes care of that in no time. But if I want to identify why this is still a surface, that's when I need to go through and use our repair tools. And I approach this in a two-part method. I look at gaps and missing faces and see how many of each problem there are. One missing face means I'll simply fix that face. Fixing the least amount of errors is nice because I can then go back and focus on the gaps which might be there. Now, gaps is kind of a two-part tool. I like to see what a problem looks like. And in this case, notice this surface goes up and over it. There's something wrong with this surface. It doesn't make sense for me to try to fix that gap as a gap. Instead, deleting that face provides a nice big opening for a missing face to go in it. That's a great use of gaps to identify a problem and missing faces to fix it. And also, if I want to quickly find where the next gap is, zoom to fit. Brings me right to our other area, and this is a gap that makes more sense. There's a separation between those edges. I'll use gaps to put the true edge in that location. One more gap to go, and I see it's the opening on the top of this model. I can click it to try to fix it, but I don't like how that looks. Instead, let's undo. You can always undo, and let's look at another way to fix it. It looks like this is actually an opening on the top edge of this face. There should be a missing face patched into it, but it's so thin, it's attempting to put a gap. No problem. We have automated tools to fix problems, and also manual tools. By filling those edges in, I can start to try to remove that from the model, from the design. However, I don't like the way it created that new face out there. Let's undo one more time. Instead, if I take the fill tool, let's do a patch blend. Let's simply select the edges and have Spaceland patch a new face into it. That's more like it, giving us a nice smooth face in the model. Last but not least, it's a good idea to check for geometry errors. If I check geometry on this model, you'll notice that we're going to see a few potential problem areas. Anytime there's an error trimming the boundary of a face, that's something I absolutely want to look at and fix. And if I go and start to look at that problem area, you'll notice all of these are related to that top error. In fact, if I zoom in, Notice what we have. On import, one of these faces was inverted. To fix this, I just want to delete that face and patch a new face into it. Another great use of our tools to find the problem areas, and we'll use our missing face tool to quickly patch a new face into it. Now we fix some of the problem areas and fix the inverted face in just a few minutes.